ADA and XLM is headed to the moon. Nexo has set a new all-time high. We will talk about that and much more on this episode of Max Crypto News. Grand Riser family, how y'all doing? I want to welcome you to another episode of Max Crypto News, where we talk about these intangible coins at all times, family. Listen, family. If you're not subscribed to BitMax on YouTube, I need you to go and hit that subscribe button. And if you like the content, hit the like button. And family, I need y'all to smash that notification bell. So whenever I drop a video go live, you will get access to that video, family. Also, y'all know I'm still offering um, that advanced crypto class, this will be the last month that I will be offering the class. Um, at, at the end of this month, I will no longer offer the advanced crypto class. But this is the last month to actually sign up for the advanced crypto class. It's a $99 fee. You can email me at bmac252.sf at gmail.com or you can email me at max crypto news at gmail.com again this will be the last month at the end of february i will no longer offer the class man. so if you want to take it you have the information you can inbox me and we can get started with that being said family we got a lot to talk about family a lot to talk about as y'all can see xlm is at 33 cents over 2 million trades in the past minute. See that? Over 3 million, 3 million traded in the past minute. So it's a lot of trades going on for XLM. And you can see a lot of them is coming to the United States family. A lot of people in the United States is buying XLM. Look at this traffic that's coming to the United States right now. You got some going to look like Europe. Um, yeah, and another spot. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, y'all can see where the traffic going, man. Where's where's majority of the XLM traffic coming at? This is a good indicator of what's going on, family. Right, and let's look at ADA. Let's look at ADA. ADA at 41 cents. We're gonna talk a little bit more about this. I just wanted y'all to see this. Let's let it get warmed up. Now, let's get it warmed up because it's over 6 million trades that has been done. Look at this one. Over 7 million. Look, now look, let's pay attention to where most of this stuff is going, y'all. This says a lot if you understand what you see. You see where it's going at. In the United States, we get a lot of, XL, XLM is getting a lot of traffic in the United States, right? But when you look at Cadanio, it's mostly over there in Europe. The Eastern, I don't know, United States picking up a little bit right now. But it's over 6 million that has been traded in the last minute, right? I'm gonna let y'all see one more. No, this is XRP, I'm sorry. This ain't ADA, this is XRP, y'all. I'm sorry. This is XRP and this map is on fire. XRP got a lot of trading going on. 
a lot of trading going on. I thought this was ABA. Let me go to Catania. All right, now this is Catania. Okay, Catania. For five million. So far, go for six million. Let's let it get warmed up. Let it get warmed up. It's glitching. Going down. Yeah, y'all. ADA. ADA don't have a lot of traffic over here in the United States. I wonder why. What we don't understand, right? All right, y'all, that's enough of this. Let's get into this, um, let's go to this um, chart, family. But before we go to the chart, um, that, let's have this brief commercial break, all right? Um, this, y'all know, family, I like to promote the Apollo FinTech, the GSX coin for anybody that's new to the channel, first time watching this video, uh, watching the video, mind you know I promote the GSX coin. Um, it looked like a good coin. Um, I um, it has a, I mean the roadmap looked legit. Everything I've researched on it looked legit so far, family. Um, you know I've invested my money in this coin also. Um, I have a referral link that if you use my referral link. You would get um, an extra five percent bonus. Right now, it's a seventeen percent bonus, plus an extra um, five if you use my link in the description. You come sign up. Um, you can get this GSX going. Um, for those who don't know what it is, if you knew, I will play this for you. But I'm not going to play the whole thing. I'm gonna give you a little bit, let you see what it's talking about. Introducing Gold Secured Currency, better known as GSX, the first of a new genre of currencies called growth coins. A growth coin combines all of the best and all of the best elements of a stable coin, an investment coin, and a traditional cryptocurrency into one secured currency. The benefits: one, it's backed. GSX is trust backed by land rights and gold. The starting value has been set with the assets backing GSX, now with many large-scale mines and refineries being added. These include a number of future alluvial and hard rock gold mines, copper mines, a tantalum mine, a nickel mine, and a lithium mine. 2. Trust Ownership GSX holders are the trust beneficiaries of all land rights. What this means is that even if something was to happen to Apollo Fintech, the assets would be sold and the proceeds would go directly to the holders of GSX. 3. Growth There will be a continual increase in the amount of mineral-rich land and gold backing of GSX. 50% of the metals mined after expenses and expansion will back GSX, so the asset value will grow constantly. The first year minimum asset goal is $7 billion, making the individual asset value 23 cents to the US dollar per GSX. Second year is $20 billion in assets, making the asset value 66 cents per US dollar per GSX. And the third year is $30 billion in assets, making the asset value $1 per GSX. This trend should continue along a similar pace. 4. Audited. GSX Gold and Metal Reserves will be continuously audited by some of the most respected auditing firms such as BVA. 5. Dividends GSX holders are entitled to yearly dividends of 50% of all gold and metals mined and refined after expenses and expansion. 6. Coin Burn 50% of the $10 billion offered that is not sold in CDE will be burned. The value will move to the surviving GSX. 7. Redeemable. GSX will be redeemable for its gold value, so it will help to maintain a more constant price. 8. Quantum Resistance. GSX will be one of the first quantum resistant stable coins with the integration of the quantum steel cryptography algorithm. 9. Participation. 
GSX is more than an investment. It's an experience. Holders will be able to visit and stay at the main mine at the GSX Visitor Center. They will be able to participate in elements of mining, such as testing out equipment, watching explosives, prospecting with the pros, testing, and many more experiences that offer the true gold rush thrill. Furthermore, the team is planning to put up 24-7 live feed cameras, allowing holders the ability to take part in the action from the comfort of their home. Gold-secured currency is a new kind of investment an investment that allows its holders the ability to watch their net worth expand to collect profits and even participate. Take part in the world's newest and most innovative financial tool and take part in history. All right, family, so you see that um, the description is, um, a link is in it on the description for you to sign up and get an extra 5% if you sign up under me, family. All right, so let's get to um, going market cap. Um, let me refresh my screen. We need Bitcoin to get over 36,000. Um, right now it's at $34,902. Ethereum at um, $1,415. XRP at 39 cents. Um, it's down 42.86%. XRP did get up to 74 cents. Um, it's just that in United States, it won't enough exchanges that you can actually buy United States. So in United States, so it was a good idea, but I don't think it was well thought out. Um, and you know, I was alone with them. So I was alone with the hype, but um, we really didn't think that out. Well, I didn't, well, whoever came up with it really didn't think it out because in the United States, we had to be realistic about this. Um, and the exchanges in the United States won't even, even allow you to even buy XRP. So how was we really going to participate with buying XRP when most people don't know how to go around to actually get it, right? So um, it did get up to 74 cents. Um, I called it. <laughs> At 74 cent, but when I tried to exchange my funds, it took a little time for it to get there. But um, it still was a good, good experiment, man. Um, I hope nobody brought the top. If y'all always listen to me, I always say, don't buy when things going up. You buy when it's going down. That's one of my mottos. I always preach that. You don't buy while it's going up. You buy when it's coming down unless it's a pet P like with me, ADA and XLM, they are my pet peeves. So I always buy them. Sometimes I'll buy them if they up, if I got some extra money. Sometimes I'll buy them if they down. But with me, if you have a set one or two cryptos that you all in and you believe in, you buy them at any price because you buy them for the long haul, right? So it don't matter. Um, but usually it's all about profits and losses. Unless you find one or two that you really like, man. So polka dot at $16.77. Cardano at 41 cent. Um ADA is on the move, headed to the moon, y'all. Um ADA about to get this moon shot. Cause this is it's ADA. We, there we go. Clock ticking, tick, ticking like tick tock, tock, moon soup. We about to let it off, off, tick tock. Got you looking at your wristwatch. Don't hip hop, hop, cause we about to moonshot. I told y'all, February the 1st, 2021, ADA headed off to the moon. It's ticking, you're still supporting people that surely pray that the coins you're buying is the XLM is coming right behind it. Watch what I tell you. In your car, wasting time, phone ring, tech talking. Brain is on foot, clogging up your crypto vision. Negative vibrations messing up your soul mission. They say patience is a virtue. Yes, family. ADA is headed to the moon. Watch what I tell y'all. ADA is looking at that 45 cent price range, family. 
Um, it got up to 42 cents. Um, am I gonna do some charts today? Uh, why not? Let me go look at a couple charts today. We'll look at a couple charts, man. We'll look at we'll look at ADA. Um we'll look at ADA and BTC. Bitcoin got the $35,665, man. Um but this is a bearish cross. Oh yeah, y'all y'all better watch this. Whenever we Americans get right to start taking over the market, it always plummets like this. Let me get the ADA. Let's look at some ADA. What's this? Cracking? You ain't got enough. Let me hold up ADA. Cracking ain't got enough. Um, let's go to Binance. Let's look at this. There we go. That's that's a little bit more. That's more like it. That's what's this? The one minute. Let's get to the one hour. Oh, that was the one minute chart. That's why it looks so terrible. All right, so let's check out some ADA, y'all. All right. So we can see we have a bullish cross right here. This was a bullish cross. Yeah, this was a bullish cross. Um, a little bit oversold in the RSI right here. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit, it was a little bit oversold in the RSI, but it came back a little bit under it, went up under it. So we have to get back in this RSI, but, um, well, other than that, man, it's looking good. Um, you know, we can see. Let me go to this. Oh, all right, yeah. All right. So when I do this, now we can see where our resistance at, right? So. Forty-five cent. Remember, I said we got to get over forty-five cent. We need to get over forty-five cent, family. Um, all-time high on finance is a dollar or forty-three cent. Well, we're a ways from that. So, so if we can get over forty-five cent. Basically, we get over four. We get to forty-five cent. The next resistance is at sixty-two cent. So if it can get over forty-five cent, it, it basically got a clear run. Man, I ain't gonna consider that fifty cent resistance. No. Well, okay. All right. Well, you can, you know what? I'm going to take that back, y'all. We got we got a little resistance here. So we're, all right. So we, if we get past the 45 cent error, the next stop will be 56 cent. And then once, we, if we get to 56 cent, we got some resistance at 62 cent. Then beyond 62, the next set of resistance will be at 71 cent right here. At 71 cent. Um, but on the grand scale of things, we're looking good. And you know, we, we oversold in this RSI. We're too high. Whenever we over this RSI, we gotta come back down. We gotta come back home. Like we can't stay out here by ourselves too long. We're trying to, but we need to get back under here. We gotta get back under this RSI. So it may make the price may consolidate a little bit to get back under here, or the um, 34 and the 13 day moving average may catch up with it um, sometime today to help it get back under the RSI. But this is the um, one week chart. 
the weekly chart. Um, but this is what we're looking at, man. So we need to get over the 45 cent range. That's where we need to try to get over 45 cent. We get over 40, get the 45 cent, over 45 cent, Cardano will be looking good. Then we're looking at 56 and 62. Um, we, we should be able to get there this month, this February. I'm expecting Cardano to reach a dollar this month. We'll see. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that go. Let me get back to, um, actually, it's some news right here. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is um, some news on ADA in 61 days. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, in 61 days, Cardano will be completely in the hands of state pool operators. That's because Cardano is coming out with this liquid platform. It's, it's decentralized finance, right? Um, there, well, it took the words right out of my mouth right there. March the 31st, all of the blocks on the Cardano network will be produced by independent state pool operators. IOHK, the company behind Cardano, will no longer participate in block production, making Cardano the only truly decentralized blockchain network on the market. Y'all better pay attention to why I'm telling you. I say stuff for a reason, y'all. I play, I, I think ahead. I make my moves according to what's coming in the future. It's a reason why. It's gonna be the only truly decentralized blockchain network on the market. It says T61 days until Cardano becomes completely decentralized. Decentralization has been one of the biggest talking points of the crypto industry for the better part of the last year. With centralized blockchains and blockchain companies continually suffering issues that stem from a lack of community participation in governments, the entire industry seems to have pointed its sales at a more inclusive, decentralized future. However, fewer networks have actually managed to get close to the decentralized they preach. Only a handful of projects, which include Polkadot, what is Polkadot doing? Skyrocketing. Avalanche, what is Avalanche doing? Skyrocketing. Cosmos, Tezos is the only one that really haven't taken off. And Cardano have actually managed to achieve significant decentralization and have over half of their circulating supply state to secure the network. However, none of these networks will be as decentralized as Cardano is set to be in just 61 days. Namely, on March 31st, just two months from today, all blocks on the Cardano network will be produced by state pool operators. And while that might not seem like that huge of a deal, this effectively means that IHOK, the company behind Cardano, will no longer be involved in block production in any capacity. Family, you can pull this article up and read it, but this right here is major news. This is decentralized for real where the stakeholders of the coins will make all the decisions of the company, of the blockchain. This is what we have been asking for. Well, we about to get it on ADA. And also ADA have something called Liquid coming out. Liquid would be the platform where you can do your staking, farming, and all that. That's, that's going to be rolling out soon. I've done a video on that for family. This right here is very important. It says, I'm going to read this. It says, IOHK only role will be to continue developing the network until its mandate runs out. After which the company will reach out to the Cardano community with a new proposal. The com community will be the deciders of what 
um, the Donald does. And this is the Shelly that I was talking about a couple of days ago. Um, for the longest, Ethereum has been the king of smart contracts, but when Shelly come out, it's gonna allow smart contracts to be on the ADA. ADA is coming, y'all. That's all I tell you. They working in Africa. They working on on getting that base of people who do not have access to banks, but they have capital, but they don't have access to banks to move that capital around. ADA is over there working with them, y'all. And they they looking at the future. They're not looking for instant gratification. And see, that's the thing with a lot of us. We can't see two miles ahead because we stuck at what's right in front of us. And we can't we can't see what's further down the road because our view is blocked, right? We are blocked looking right in front of us and we can't see the future. That's why I told y'all, I sat there and I watched this man video, Charles, the owner. He gets it. He's a visionary. He is thinking future. He's like me. He plays chess. He's making moves that's going to affect ADA two, three years down the road. It ain't how you start the race. It's how you finish. ADA going to be something to deal with in this community. In this um, crypto community with blockchain, with Binance, and Ethereum. Right now, Binance is coming. Ethereum, Tron, Polkadot. But ADA has a path to be something to reckon with. That's all I'm telling y'all. ADA have a path to be something to reckon with in a couple years. <laughs> Not even a couple years right now, but it, it's on path to be something that y'all, everybody gonna be worried and know about ADA. All right, so let me get back to some more. Um, yeah, is that 41 cent move, baby, move. Y'all get them bags back. Because when, when you can start staking ADA and getting all uh, interest and residual income, you're going to want them. You ain't going to want to have to buy them. All right, family. Also, I've been offering this Pi Network, man. Um, it's a link in the description. It's absolutely free, family. Only thing you have to do is download this app to your phone. Put in my referral code, which is Max Crypto News, and you can start mining Pi for free. This is something that allows you to mine something for free, and it do not drain your battery. It do not take data from your phone. They use the word mine because this is actually built on a stellar network. So the coins are already made. They are predetermined. So they're actually not mining on your phone. What they is, they give you a hash rate. That hash rate is how they release the Pi coins to you. They are already mined. But they have to have people on the network that's active. So by you downloading the app, and going on the network once a day, it shows that you have 12 million people that's actively on that network. So when the coins hit the market, now you have an audience, you have a you have a, a base of people that are active on your network, which brings value to the popcorn. You can't come out with a popcorn and don't have nobody that's using the network that is built on. This is what the Pi Network is doing. It's building people to be active on the network so the actual coin itself will be worth something when it hits the market. This is Pi. That's just an easy way to explain what Pi is, family, and why you have to download it and why it seems like you're mining, but you're not really mining. They're just releasing the coins to you at the rate that your hash rate is. The more people you sign up under you, the faster your hash rate. So the more pie points you get a day. It's just that simple, right? It's a link in the description. It's free. It don't cost you a dime, family. It's free to get these coins. 
it will hit the market the end of 2021, beginning of 2020. I told y'all I'd be thinking ahead, y'all. This is what pie is. It will be hitting the market end of this year, beginning of next year. The coins will come out and hit the market. And then it will get a value when it hit the market. It'd be good if you already have some, so you ain't got to trade them to get some or buy some you already have. Them. But a link be in the description, man, if you want to get in with the pie, because everybody usually want a piece of pie. I don't see why you don't want a piece of pie too, right? All right, let me get back to this market family. We was at ADA. Chain link at $22.95, Litecoin. Litecoin, $138. Binance Coin has passed Stella and Bitcoin Cash to move to number nine at $51.79, family. Binance Coin has a lot of stuff going on. Let me add that to my watch list. It has a lot of stuff going on on that Binance chain. I may talk about some of it tomorrow or something. Not today, but it's a lot of stuff going on on that chain. And if you in the class, you got an idea of it last night, what's going on in on that chain, man. Right? You got Bitcoin Cash at um, $417. Then you got Stellar Lumens at $0.32. Cent. My next moonshot, as you know, Stellar is headed to the moon, right? And with Stella, where we at? Let's let let's, let let me get back to Stella for y'all, so you we can see the transactions that's going on. Where we at? Let y'all see this, man. It's gonna pick up. But you see what most of everything coming. And if for y'all don't know, XLM is in San Francisco. This is a company based in the United States. And and this this year they're planning on expanding um their awareness in the United States, the fact that XLM is in the United States. It's a United States back on um, currency, a blockchain, right? But it's it's here in the United States. So it looks like everything coming to North Carolina. Is they sending everything to NC? <laughs> it sure looks like it's coming to North Carolina. <laughs> well, all right, so let's look at some Stella family. Um, all right. So listen, it says, this is an article. It says, expect Stellar Lumis to shine as a borderless currency of choice. The People's coin, I thought it was gonna be Tron. Look like Stellar may take it. It says, with a simple concept, but many applications, Stellar Lumis is a crypto coin to watch. While the bulk of the conversation about cryptocurrency might focus on famous names like Bitcoin and Ethereum, it's a good idea to learn about so-called altcoins like Stellar Lumens, XLM. Once you get to know Stellar Lumens, you might find yourself getting hooked on this unusual crypto coin. Sure, you can just bypass the learning phase and start trading Stellar based on a price action. And for the price action, traders out there we will examine XLM technical aspects. I don't need y'all to examine it. I can do it myself, right? But still, I invite you to consider Stellar Lumens not only as a vehicle for quick profits, profits, but also as a form of currency that could change the world. As we'll discover, an argument could be made that XLM is truly the people's currency. In other words, 
once you purchase Stellar stock, you might actually find yourself wanting to hold it for a long time. With that in mind, let's look, delve into XMM wide ranging price ranges. So, but y'all, they said basically Stellar may become the people's form, right? So, let me go to the chart. Where is it at? Do I got a chart up? Right, let's go to XLM real fast. We'll give a little XLM. All right, there we go. Let me get, oh, that's bit finance. Okay, well, it's all right. Let me get the one year, get to the hourly. I need to do some cleaning up to this chart. I need to do some cleaning up. all this up here no more. We done got out of that danger zone that we was in. All right, so we got an upward trend right here. Um, you see every time after here, when we bounce here, we came back up. So that's a good sign. Um, good for the flag here, man. Might need it. Might need one. All right, so, you know, basically, this is our flag. This can be the flag the XL is in. Um, we can see these are basically have been our lines of resistance and or support. So which line is we going to break? One of these has to be broken. I really, you know what? Hold up. I think it just broke. I think I'm behind. Because if I would have done this, nah, I can't. It wouldn't have been right. So basically, yeah, this is where we at, family. Um, Which way are we going to go? Are we going to break this resistance and go up? Or are we going to break this and come down? We already tested this once. Twice, it looked like we tested this once. So we're getting in a critical point where either we can roll over or we can go up more. Now, if we go up more, um, 42 cents, I got that there for a reason. That must be our next. That must be. Our next, okay. So the all time high on um, what's this bit finance is around 45, 46 cents. Um, so if I put that there, that was our next set of resistance. Now, this resistance right here. That's resistance too. That's at the 38 cent range. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, that's basically. We already, yeah, we hit there and, 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 and came down. So. Yeah, this is a, a nice flag. It's a nice flag. Um, family, um, yep, it's a nice flag. I can draw. Nice flag. But basically, with XLM, we had a point where we we gonna get we you see you can see the, the trajectory. Are we gonna come under this? Or are we gonna go above this? If we go above this, then we can see that thirty eight cent is the next um, next line of resistance that we're looking at for XLM. As far as coming down, it all depends. But so far, thirty cent will be our first line of defense right now. <clears throat> All right, so let me get right back. Well, because I'm I ain't been up here a while. All right, so listen, fam. Also, where we at? Oh yeah, we gotta talk about Bank Road Flow family. Listen, it's a link in the description. If you want to sign up for Bank Road Flow, you get this residual income. Just let me know, family, right? Um, for everybody on the team, I appreciate y'all that's on the team, man. Um, we gonna get this money. Um, TRX is just moving. TRX just haven't took off yet. But when it do, we gonna reap the benefits, right? Um, Uniswap at almost $19. EOS at three dollars. EOS went up some. That's good. Um, Tron still at three cent. It really ain't moved. Let's look at some of these biggest movers. Um, oh, Nexo. Hold up, Nexo, y'all. Is it at a dollar yet? Let's find out. Let's see. Is Nexo at a dollar? Where we at? We gonna get right to you. 99 cent. <laughs> Next up it on the tear, y'all. It ain't okay. It ain't it ain't got over a dollar yet. 99 cent, right? Um damn, I just closed that. What happened is let me go to grayscale. So uh, um All right, so here go an article about Nexo. Came out yesterday. The Nexo lender, crypto lender Nexo adds exchange service to its mobile app. Nexo's new service provides more than 75 cryptocurrency and fiat currency pairs for trading. So now you can trade your crypto for um currencies y'all like your dick um bitcoin for um like um usdt or usdc dial you can trade them right on your um on your mobile app for free next so don't charge no fees man to do these exchanges now that's so important that they do not charge any fees. Um, and that was some good news that came out. Um, they also tweeted about this. It was a tweet. You can swap instantly. Yeah, um, enjoy a seamless fixed price exchange in app. So um, this is a huge deal that they just came out with. Um, it's, make, it's helping make the price of Nexo go up. Um, at 98 cent. Hey, that's that's looking great, family. Um, especially those that took the ride with me when I was talking about Nexo back in November and December. And we looking at 13 cents in September, 
12 cent October. Uh, we're looking at 13, 14 cent October. And now, now we at almost a dollar, dollar, dollar. Almost at that dollar range, y'all. Hey, Nexo, what Nexo needs some to the moon music. I done took it down, but Nexo is headed to the moon. So when we see Nexo, because right now it's it's making all time highs. This ne Nexo is making all time highs. So we saw the first run up and then it consolidated down. Now we're taking the second. I told y'all we're in waves of three. So the third wave probably get Nexo to a dollar fifty, dollar seventy five. I can't wait. Right. Also, family, I already talked about bankroll flow. I did. I talked about bankroll flow. Um, Y'all remember I was talking about this Clever Wallet? Hey, it's a link in the description to download this Clever Wallet. It's running off Tron. Right? The price of Clever is half a penny. It's still that half a penny, which is a very good buy, family. You can get this at a good buy on half a penny, and it's going to jump. Yeah, boy, we doing a lot of trading on XLM in USA, man. Um, I'm going to play this. No, I'm not. I'm going to just read it. 21 shares to this polka dot EDP on Swiss 6 Exchange. So, um... Uh, it says 21 shares crypto basket ETP has also replaced Bitcoin Cash with Polkadot. So they don't remove Bitcoin Cash for Polkadot family. Um, yeah, they don't uh, lost the world's first Polkadot EDP. It says the new product dot EDP will be listed on. Swiss Six Exchange on February the 4th, 2021. Shares announced Tuesday. So, hey, they coming. Also, Grace, it said Grayscale may jumpstart the next phase of the Bitcoin, Bitcoin run tomorrow. Um, was this article yesterday? I think it was. It says, um, a release. I'm going to play this. I'll play this. Grayscale may jumpstart the next phase of the Bitcoin bull run tomorrow. Bitcoin, BTC, may have traded sideways for much of last month thanks to Grayscale, but the status quo will soon change. According to data from on-chain analytics resource CryptoQuant, the price premium of the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBTC, just hit its lowest since April 2019. Grayscale lockup ends Wednesday. Grayscale has made the headlines frequently this year thanks to record BTC purchases and record demand, but despite the inflows, BTC slash USD has not continued to gain. As February begins, the trust's purchase premium is at around $6.50, having previously been as high as $40 over the course of its existence. This historically coincides with meandering price direction, while a large premiums equal large upside moves for Bitcoin. In late December, a dedicated article in technology magazine Hacker Noon explained the phenomenon as being tied to releases of GBTC shares which have been subject to a customary lockup. Once they are released, Bitcoin tends to shoot higher as customers put their profits back into BTC, while the time preceding such events corresponds to a lack of price action. What's important to know is once these higher prices and premiums are realized after an unlocking, price goes on to consolidate. This lets the premium shrink again before its next unlocking event. Hacker Noon summarized. With the next unlocking set for February 3rd, anticipation should be building for a continuation of the Bitcoin bull run. This voids enables premiums to shrink again just like the nine times before, the article continued, correctly predicting the price behavior for the second half of January. And it'll keep shrinking until the next unlocking. Because of this I expect price to either consolidate or sag. GBTC Premium versus BTC slash USD. Source. Crypto quant no sag for Grayscale investment. Grayscale meanwhile continues to expand its offerings as institutional interest broadly shows no signs of slowing for either Bitcoin or altcoins. Grayscale Bitcoin Holdings vs. BTC slash USD. Source, 
Crypto, Quant. This week saw its Ethereum trust reopen after being closed since December, while February 25th will see Grayscale sponsor crypto-focused event the Bloomberg Crypto Summit. GBTC had $21.8 billion in assets under management as of February 1st. Ether, ETH, purchases have been on pause since December 10th. So, um, after February 3rd, we're going to see what happens with Grayscale. But Bitcoin looks like it's already moving. If it's still, um, get back to the market. Also, family, um, Funfair. Funfair been on the tear also. Let me see what Bitcoin at. Um, it's seven something. 34,000. It was over. Okay, it's at 35. So Bitcoin really ain't slacked off real fast. All right, let me show y'all something else. We've done next, so let me just go to my watch list to make this quicker. Funfair have been on the chair, family. Look at Funfair, up 44.79%. Funfair was over, uh, close. Funfair was six cents this morning, y'all. Early, you know, I'll be getting up early because you got to know when to catch this market. Well, five, five, seven, nine. It was six cents on, on, on that exchange I deal with. So I took me some profit. I sure did. And if you don't take no profit, if you own Funfair, I don't know what's up with you. Take some profit. Um, especially for those who brought in. If you brought in what I told you, you can get a hundred thousand of these for a hundred dollars. You should have been took some profit. Um the family, I think that's about it. Um yeah, I think that's about it. Fellas, listen, I thank y'all for watching this episode of Max Crypto News. Um, you know, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what y'all think. Um, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace, love y'all. Why well, do?